By August 1961, it is estimated that East Germany was losing approximately 2,000 of its citizens every day, many of whom were skilled professionals, and their exodus was wreaking havoc on East Germany's economy. To stop bleeding, Soviet leader Nikita Khrushchev advised East Germany to cut off access between the two sides. So on August 13, 1961, East Germany closed the border between East and West Berlin and started building the Berlin Wall. Welcome back to another episode of TR Arcade, where we delve into the captivating world of history. Today we embark on a journey through the rare pictures of one of the most iconic symbols of division and resilience in modern history, the Berlin Wall. If you haven't checked our last episode yet, be sure to find the link in the comment section. But without further ado, let's dive into the intriguing story behind the Berlin Wall and explore the moments captured in these remarkable photographs. Our first image takes us to December 5, 1961, where train engineer Harry Dieterling orchestrated a daring escape. He stole a steam train and defied all odds by driving it through the last station in East Berlin, rescuing 25 passengers and leading them to freedom in the West. As we move forward, we come across a snapshot taken during Christmas 1961, a time that should be filled with joy and celebration, yet in the backdrop stands the Berlin Wall, a somber reminder of the harsh reality faced by those living in the divided city. Henri Cartier Bresson's lens captured the construction of the Berlin Wall in a photograph taken in 1962. It serves as a poignant reminder of the physical barrier that began to separate families and friends, drastically altering the lives of those caught up in its grip. In June 1962, an East German guard captured by Paul Schuster's camera throws back a ball over the Berlin Wall. This simple act transcends the barriers, illustrating the yearning for connections and normality in the midst of an oppressive environment. To maintain the facade of normalcy, East German authorities resorted to sending the children to play at the base of the Berlin Wall, as seen in the image from 1962. The innocent laughter and play-acting contrast starkly with the reality of a divided city. In December 1962, a young girl gazes pensively through her apartment window, her image blending with the reflection of barbed wire atop the nearby Berlin Wall. It's a poignant representation of the longing and contemplation that filled the hearts of those separated by imposing barrier. As East German risked everything to seek freedom in the West, the repercussions were felt on both sides. The windows of a building on the eastern side were bricked over after successful escapes to the west. This haunting photograph from 1962 serves as a testament to the immense sacrifice made by those yearning for a better life. The year 1962 witnessed a daring escape attempt when a group of West Berliners dug a 20-inch wide tunnel under a border street to East Berlin. One of them emerges from the tunnel in this image captured over the weekend of June 8-10, 1962. Sixteen East Berliners, including an infant, followed, braving the unknown and embracing the chance for freedom. August 17, 1962 marked a tragic day when Peter Fischer attempted to flee to the west but was shot down by East German border guards. The heart-wrenching photograph shows him being carried away after laying wounded in no man's land for 50 agonizing minutes. His story serves as a stark reminder of the risk faced by those yearning for liberty. Moving into 1963, we see children playing near the Berlin Wall, their innocent laughter contrasting with the political tensions that loomed over the divided city. Moments like these remind us of the resilience and hope that can thrive even in the darkest of times. In June 1963, President John F. Kennedy addressed a massive crowd in West Berlin, delivering his iconic declaration, HP9 Berliner. His powerful words resonated with the people, offering a glimmer of solidarity and support against the communist threats that overshadowed their daily lives. If you enjoyed the video so far, remember to hit that subscribe button and stay up to date with our historical exploration.
In December 1963, thousands of people lined up at the Schillerstrasse in Charlottenburg, Berlin, seeking passage slips to cross the border. From December 20, 1963 to January 5, 1964, West Berlin residents were granted one-day passes to visit their relatives in the East, offering a brief moment of reunion during the holiday season. One heartwarming moment captured by these rare photographs shows two brothers embracing during a Christmas reunion after being separated by the Berlin Wall for nearly three long years. Their joyful embrace serves as a symbol of resilience and the enduring power of familial bonds. Moving forward to October 3rd and 4th, 1964, we encounter an extraordinary tale of escape. Tunnel 57 dug from west to east by a group of 20 students led by Joachim Neumann, provided a lifeline for 57 East Berlin citizens seeking freedom. A 75-year-old woman is depicted being helped into the tunnel, ready to embark on a perilous journey towards a new life. A photograph from August 10, 1966 showcases the extensive system of walls, barriers, watchtowers, and the open death strip that divided the East and West Berlin. The image taken from the German Reichstag building offers a stark visual reminder of the physical and ideological divide that plagued the city. In 1971, a refugee makes a daring dash through communist border installations attempting to escape to the West. East German border guards carry him away after he's wounded by machine gun fire. It serves as a powerful testament to the risk individuals took to attain freedom and escape the confines of the divided city. March 16, 1976 witnesses the courageous journey of Syrian businessman Alfine Fuad, who smuggled his soon-to-be wife Aika Kohler and her children Thomas and Hike through the checkpoint Charlie from East Berlin to the western part of the city. In March 1983, Michael Baker and his partner Holger Batke found a unique way to cross the Berlin Wall. They fired an arrow attached to a fishing line from the attic in the East Berlin to a house across the divide. Using wooden pulleys, they zipped across on a steel cable, defying the odds and uniting with their loved ones on the other side. A snapshot from 1986 captures a woman hanging up clothes near the Berlin Wall. A mundane yet poignant reminder that life continued amidst the division. Fast forward to June 1987, when US President Ronald Reagan visited the Berlin Wall alongside German Chancellor Helmut Kohl. Their presence signifies the global significance of the wall and the shared determination to overcome its oppressive presence. In 1989, as winds of change swept across Eastern Europe, Students stood on the Berlin Wall near the Brandenburg Gate, capturing the mounting anticipation and desire for freedom that permeated the air. And then, on November 9, 1989, the world witnessed an extraordinary moment, the fall of the Berlin Wall. Throngs of people united in tearing down the physical embodiment of division and oppression while East German police watched their authority crumbling alongside the concrete structure. This historical event marked the triumph of hope and unity over fear and separation. It was a turning point in the world's history and a testament to the power of human spirit. As we conclude our exploration of rare pictures of the Berlin Wall, we are reminded of the remarkable stories of courage, resilience, and unyielding pursuit of freedom. Each photograph captures a fleeting moment in a larger narrative of this iconic structure. The fall of Berlin Wall was a watershed moment that resonated around the world. It symbolizes the crumbling of oppressive regimes and the triumph of unity and shared humanity. It serves as a reminder that walls, both physical and metaphorical, can be dismantled when people stand together. <laughs>